Basic operation for the VMA handy recorder. Power. The recorder is powered by two AA batteries or a plug-in power source such as the AC adapter provided. If you are using batteries to power your recorder, simply slide the cover off, insert your batteries, put the cover back on, and you have made your first step to recording your very own audio. To turn on the VMA handy recorder, there is a slider located on the side of the device. Simply push the slider to the power position and your device will soon activate. On the opposite side of the VMA recorder, there is a dial which you can use to navigate through your files or within the menu. Simply scroll up or down to search for the file you are looking for. When you have found your file, simply push down on the dial and it will select the file for you. Recording and playback. For this tutorial, we will be capturing in stereo. Press the record button to prep the device into standby mode. Push it again to begin audio capturing. To finish recording, push the stop button. You can play back a recent recording file by pressing the play pause button. Depending on your settings, the recorder will capture audio in either WAV or MP3 file. Export and format. Connect the recorder using a USB cable to your computer and turn on the device. Your computer will show a drive on your desktop. Open the drive and you will see your file in the window. Copy the file to your destination and you are good to go. Also note, before disconnecting the USB cable and the recorder from the computer, be sure to safely disconnect the device from the computer first. If this step is skipped, files may become corrupted or damaged. Formatting the SD card. Hold down the menu button and select SD card. Then select format and the machine will do the rest. When you format the SD card, you should do that before you start using the recorder. Thanks for watching.